So good afternoon, good evening, La Trinidad, and to the rest of the world who is watching us on Facebook Live now, right now. Welcome to Taraki 2.0. I'm Attorney Brendan, and with me is my partner. Ayan. Uh, ano nila? Sir Brendan. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Sir Brendan, fresh <laughs> from class. class. So welcome to our inaugural to Taraki 2.0. So this is the very first time. Yay! 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 <laughs> Ayan. So for this afternoon, we are very happy to have with us our first guest of our inaugural um, edition of Taraki 2.0. Our yeah. yeah. talagang term, ha? Yeah. Inaugural. Inaugural. <laughs> 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 okay. From this paper, the maiden issue. So let's give a very warm welcome to uh, the Chief Policy Officer of the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Operations of the Department of Education. Ayan. We have Sir Dan Paul Santos. Yay! Hey. Baka may kakumustahin ka pa sir Ay wala na, alam na nila yan So hi to all the DepEd people Kung saan tayo namulat Sa loob ng classroom Well anyway today we will be talking about Young professionals in government That's why we have Sir DP with us this afternoon Ayan, so Well since it's our inaugural Ayan session, uh, we're a bit uh, trying to really see no, kung ano yung ma-offer ng Tara Taraki 2.0 to our audience. And so, since tayong lahat ay nasa youth spectrum, tama ba? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. So, we are still in the youth spectrum. We would like to take this opportunity to uh, talk about the thing that resonates to most of us three, and that is uh, young professionals, that is who we are, working in government. Because, yeah, surprisingly, we all work for the government. Yes. I, ako, I used to, but uh, I may, I might be working back for government mm -hmm. in the coming days. Ayan. So, first, we'll talk about uh, Sir si Kuya Dan Paul's uh, experience working in government. So, let's get the ball rolling. No? Um, can you talk about um, you working in the Department of Education. What it's what is it like to be a chief policy officer? Oh my God! Young as you are, you know. Okay. Tera 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 chuli na lang. Yeah. So yeah, can you give us a bit of you know background? What what is it like day to day? What's happening in the view as their chief policy officer for ASEC Dex office? Ayan. Per RA 8044, youth pa naman ako. Nasa age range, <laughs> nasa age range pa ako ng, ano, ng youth na nilalagay sa uh, per rationalized by RA 8044. Pero hanggang 35 ang ano, UN, di ba? So, UN, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. so, so, gagraduate ka na sa iyo. Alam, nasa borderline. Nasa borderline. This year, gagraduate ka na. Age range, early on. Alam, nagkakalculate na sila. Kaya na mag-ano niya, kaya na mag-calculate niyan. So, working in the government uh, in DepEd, no? So, before pala, hindi pala ako, hindi ako teacher by profession. Mm -hmm. Before working in, in, ano, in DepEd, I, uh, I worked on several government agencies such as 
uh, DIA, uh, AFP, mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. Civil Military Operations, okay. uh, yung uh, DILG, mm -hmm. DOH, okay. OVP, mm -hmm. and then that. And so, pang limang agency pang limang mm -hmm. agency. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. So, working in DepEd is different sa dati kong mga, nag, uh, dati kong engagement in government. Why? You are facing 48,000 schools. You are facing 28 million learners or students. Mm -hmm. And counting. And counting. Yes. You are facing millions of teachers mm -hmm. and uh, hundreds of school divisions. As, so, ganun kalaki ba? Uh, and in DILG kasi we are uncovering 48,000 barangays, mm -hmm. hundreds of city municipalities. Dito talaga, kahit sunok ng purok, merong skwelahan. Ah, oh, yes. Talaga. Kahit saan meron elementary, public school, lahat siya may pangailan. Kaya working is in operations is different. But working in, in operations is a different part because we are the complementary of the curriculum. Uh, while the heart and soul of the Department of Education is improving the curriculum, kami yung other spectrum. We are providing the learning environment that the learners will be able to be prepared sa classroom. Oh, pag sinabi oh. natin uh, learning environment, Yun is yung this the structure? Kinakailangan, oh, kinakailangan okay. ang bata busog. Ay, okay. Bago kumasok ah, okay. ng classroom. <laughs> okay. Kinakailangan okay. yung ano yung learner mentally prepared. Yes, yes. Kinakailangan may guidance ng magulang yan. Mm -hmm. Kinakailangan capacitated yung magulang mm -hmm. para pagkatapos ng classroom nito. Pero how how I am working now in government? Mm -hmm. Umpisahan natin nung nag-umpisa ako ng government. Uh, siguro kung kayo ay galing ng private sector or galing ng NGO, yeah. papasok kayo ng government. Yung connotation na parang retirement period or per settlement ng government, uh, hindi yung ganun kadali. <laughs> Kasi baliktad siya. Mas parang na, na nag-stay na lang kayo ng private, <laughs> na, na private. Na government. Because yung sinabi ko kalina mga numbers, yan yung araw-araw ninyong imimit. imimit. Yes. Yan yung stakeholder nyo na harapin. Uh -oh. Yan yung mga taong kinakailangan yung sagutin araw-araw. Tatawag, magle-letter, yes. iba't-ibang forms of communication. Memo man o letter type, yes. lahat yun. And then, it will be top-down and bottom-up approach of how do things in national government. Hindi lang Halimbawa, kung nasa region, yung concern mo lang yung nasa region, yes. kami iba ganun. Kaya, you will be frustrated, even your young professional, yes. you're frustrated in the systems, in the culture, in the type of people you will be facing every day. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang yung mga nasa opisina, but also yung stakeholder na, na sinabi ko kanina, yun yung araw-araw na, araw-araw na operations ng isang government employee. But, Again, okay. anyway, so chief yun. operations, we're, chief we're, 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 chief yeah, we're talking policy, about no. policies. Ah, uh, okay. So, sa mga policies ato, meron bang mga pwede nating share? Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yun na. Talagang malaman din ng ibang tao. Sa Pero operations strand under our uh, my boss, uh, ASEC, uh, Doctor Dexter Galban. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Dersel Galban holding the learner support services. So, the learner services. services. Oh. Oh. The so, yun yung sinabi mo kanina. Yes. The learners have to be well-fed. Yes. Yeah. So, yun yung through... Learner support services focuses primarily on the well-being of the oh, learners. Okay. Ibig sabihin, the health, okay. the physical, psychosocial, mm -hmm. and then new formation. Kaya under ng learner support services, there are office, offices under him such as learner formation, division, mm -hmm. uh, school health division, and school sports division. Oh. Kung baga talaga, it's the real, it's the support. <coughs> ano. yeah. Anyway, um, I think I'd like to take on from yung una mong sinabi, kasi you mentioned about the culture that you have to contend yeah. with yeah. as a young professional. Kasi um, sa DepEd, well, I, I don't know, ha, pero ang aking, you know, growing up, kasi man, all of us went through elementary, high school, mm -hmm. nasa, parang nasabi nga natin when, before the show went live, sa DepEd kasi, parang majority of those, work, of those who are working there are 
mas matanda na sa atin. Oh. Parang, I don't know, no, no. for lack of a better Sabi term. Sabihin na lang ito oh, yan, elder. Joke lang, joke lang. For lack of a better term. Seniors na lang. Siyempre, parang ang DepEd kasi it's a ladder ride. Right? Yung promotion feels like it's ladder ride. Right? Yes. So you start as a teacher, then you go hanggang ma-promote ka. So meaning, the higher position, uh, the higher the position is sa DepEd, kadalasan, the, the older yung nag-hold yung position. And here you are sa national office na younger than than those who are working sa field yan as as a young professional sa level na yun what what are the challenges if i may and if you are willing to share and how, how did you manage to go through that uh, challenge when it comes to dealing with the deped culture just to make things happen just to make things work si sabeng nabanggit mo na rin kanina yung frustration part oo ano yung mga challenges if you if you are young professional working in the government <coughs> There are several kinds of frustrations, but ang isa sa mga number one mo dyan na mga challenges, yung system, yung culture, yung tipong hindi mo makukuha agad ang gusto mo. Kung, kung gusto mo ng result, hindi ganon, hindi ganon be ang pangarap. <laughs> ano, change in government doesn't make it months, hindi siya magka, change, hindi ma-achieve ang change ng years. Ang change ma-achieve mo, ilang taon? Decade. If you have consistently innovating something in the system of the government, it will take years and years. Hindi yung bukas na ngarap ka ng platform for these offices and then all of the sudden magbago lahat. Hindi. You need to, you need to think the political landscape. You, you need to turn think the human resource and the training in the capacity of the offices and then domino effect sa lahat ng mga yeah. system platform sa government. Ganun siya. Hindi siya mag, mag-usap tayo bukas baguhin natin. <laughs> so, so, so these are just some of the misconceptions oh, kasi. Yes. So we're we'll trying to give them a preview on it. Yes. So as someone who is there, no, daily, oh. kasi you have to contend with this daily. Mm-hmm. And syempre, I, I'm sure uh, as idealistic as you are na pumasok sa gobyerno, Surprisingly, this is your fifth agency. So, we said, hindi, <laughs> hindi ka pa gumigiba. <laughs> what, yeah. what keeps you going? I mean, di ba? Andiyan, andiyan yung frustration eh, na parang mm-hmm. hindi ko makita yung pagbabago, pero yeah. andito pa rin ako. I mean, what motivates you to you know, continue? Uh, someone working in policy is very difficult. Why? Because hindi mo makikita yung result. Ang araw-araw makikita papel. Okay. papel. Pero, ang... It keeps, yung, yung bagay na nagpapa-inspire sa akin para bumangon ako ng bumangon ako araw-araw. <laughs> well, aside from the sahod, ako sabihin. Aside from the sahod. <laughs> sahod. Ay, yung, <laughs> yung ginawa mo, yung sinulat ninyo na policy yes. will impact the learners after, after years. The public, uh, other published years. And then another thing na nakakapag-inspire sa akin yung mga lead, yung mga leaders na nag stand up. Ayaw kong ano, ayaw kong i-promote yung boss ko pero <laughs> yun ang isang inspiration ko before uh, before ako mag ed I was inspired by one of the execom I serve and then now uh, Asik Dex Galban. Actually aalis na dapat ako ng dep ed ko. Hindi pa si Asik Dex yung ano kasi Asik Dex is one of the youngest uh, is the youngest execom in the office. And then Alam mo yung environment niya, kung yung leadership ano niya, talaga mapa-inspired ka. Yun yung, yung mga araw-araw na talaga it keeps me fight for. So, yun yung nakakatawa na marami tayo nakikita sa government and yet you have still few servant leaders na naga, nagsashine out na talagang naglilid ng kanya-kanyang paraan. So, yun siguro yun, as a bureaucrat, uh, public administrator <laughs> na ako kasi talagang 5 years, uh, five, years okay. five agencies, 10 years and yeah. two administrations mm-hmm. na ang sinaserve ko yun na, yun, yun na talaga yung baseline ko na bukod doon sa, uh, sa result na nakikita ko na sinusulat namin mm-hmm. in policies but also yung mga leadership na naka aspire sa amin bilang mga public administrators so oh. that's that's good to know no so kailangan talaga no? parang i think take off from our last monday na yes. na usapan is there there has to really some there has to be something that motivates Oh, yes. you, di ba? Yes. Na kung paano saan ka ba bumabangon. <laughs> so dami ng frustration mo day in, day out, di ba? Pwede gumibab ka na lang. But anyway, I'd like to, ano, I'd like to deal further dun sa, well, kasi, um, 
you've been to five agencies no um, in 10 decades mm. so on average you stay wag na kayong so kailan siya pumasok oh, muna sa <laughs> so on average parang you stay two years in, in one agency yes. ang ang lagi kasing comment ng mga HR professionals mm-hmm. human resource professionals yung generation daw natin kung, kung ano man generation tayo no, is tayo daw yung generation palipat, na palipat-lipat yes. yes. so parang yeah, yeah, hindi mapirmi now I don't know if this is a negative or positive thing or yeah. or does this come with with this new generation but mm-hmm. I mean, knowing na parang hindi lang naman, hindi lang si BP, no? Mm-hmm. Ang ganun, actually maraming yung professional, yung pa, palipat-lipat. Siguro, as someone na, na experience, the experience, what's your that. take on that? I mean, is that necessarily a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Uh, how do you think does that define a person's, you know, professional growth? Sa akin, nakatulong siya. Ba, yung connotation na yun, siguro, that the time ng generation nila. <laughs> ano man yung generation nila, siguro, bad thing yung ganun. Pero, sa aking generation, good thing siya. Bakit? Yung experience ko sa pag-iba-iba ng, uh, ng agencies, uh, iba't-ibang agencies, iba't-ibang experiences, mm-hmm. iba't-ibang klase ng expertise. Mm-hmm. It makes me uh, being proactive in different government systems, in government uh, uh, government uh, uh, system and platforms, sa kung saan mas naging expert ako. Kaya parang kahit nakapikit ako, kaya kong gawin to kahit saan man ako ilagay ng government agencies same thing pero nga lang again leadership matters mm-hmm. whatever uh, whatever uh, whatever agencies you came from leadership matters ang naka ang, ang kagandahan lang siguro ng palipat-lipat ka yung palipat-lipat hindi yung six months ha <laughs> okay yung palipat wa, tapos si muna isang taon isang taon dalawang taon experience ka muna yeah, yeah, kasi yeah. Real talk tayo sa government, hindi ka makakakuha ng permanent item. Yeah. You will start job order, contract of service. Yes. Later, you will be engaged as consultant. Pag hindi di, di, di ka masaya sa ino-offer na plantilla position, you will be consultant. Ganon. And that's okay. And that's, I mean, that's okay. okay. And that's okay. If, kasi kung, kung hindi di tailor fit sa iyo yung position, hindi ka rin, hindi ka rin magiging masaya, masaya sa environment. So, Sa akin, yun, yun, yun yung connotation ko. Kinakailangan masaya ako sa work environment ko, sa particular uh, job na offering sa akin. Kung hindi, para saan pa ba't ako mag-work doon? I'm not for the, ano, I'm not for the salary. At I'm, I'm for the passion. Mukhang diba? secured to. Dalawang administration, <laughs> dalawang passion. Puro passion, passion. tayo. Ganun. Kasi, Aanuhin natin yung ano, pero mamatay tayo ng maaga dahil sa stress. Sayang, so, yeah, diba? diba? Oo. Yes, yes. We, talking about stress, no? kasi di, minsan kasi talaga, I think this is something inevitable. <laughs> Saan yung galing? <laughs> Oo, pero dito hindi talaga mawawala yung parang pressure from the ones who are older than you. Yes, yes. Kahit saan ka talaga pumunta, but... Uh, with your experiences from different uh, sectors naman, kamusta naman yung working with them? With the older Meron ba yung... Ones? In yeah. fact, there are really a generation gap in government. Mm-hmm. Uh, hindi ganun ka real accepted yung young generation uh, working in the mm-hmm. government. Why? Because magkakaroon, tal- magkakaroon ka talaga ng mga limitation. Mga, may mga in-establish na boundary mga yan. Eh. Yeah, may mga yeah. in-establish na... Baka minsan ka pinatimpla ka pa ng kape. Sa so, government. <laughs> ano? Shout out. Pwede. <laughs> Pag EA ka, pwede yan. <laughs> Pag executive assistant ka. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, pagka sa government, yung mga tenure na may mga empire yan, mm-hmm. may mga tinatayong mga palasyo may yan. May mga reyna, no? Yung, may mga reyna, may mga hari. Hindi, hindi may iwasan mm-hmm. yan. Pero ba, paano ka maka makaka-penetrate dyan, eh di, pakitaan mo ng ano, you help with them, mm-hmm. technically, yung mga kaya nilang gawin, ay, mga hindi nilang kaya nilang gawin, gawin. Nila, yes. com- you will complement. work with them, yes. complement with that, constructive yung engagement mo sa kanila, and then later then, yung trust, makukuha mo, mm-hmm. and then, doon mo sila pwedeng feedback na, Bakit ganyan yung ginagawa? <laughs> Pwede ka nga yun mag-feedback ka lang ka ng ako. Ano? Kasi nakatulong ka na sa kanila. Oh, yes. Hindi na pwedeng ikaw na lang lagi yung uh, ano. Accept ang accept. So, Hindi pwede for yun. the some time, I establish that kind of respect uh-huh. and boundaries and limitations oh. with this government 
employees and some of the official na hindi yung lagi mo silang babarahin mm-hmm. but you collaborate with, with them, them but you also complement with them and then at the same time magpi-feedback ka mm-hmm. ng pwedeng pa pasundot-sundot <laughs> para magkaroon ng konsensya or something <laughs> kasi for the longest time well, kasi, in government mm-hmm. If you are a technic if you started as a technical, technical assistant yeah. you yun, <laughs> do the dirty works mm-hmm. all of the dirty and clean works of those <laughs> officials <laughs> so alam mo na ang tama at mali so kapag nasa posisyon ka na alam mo na kung paano alam mo na paano sabihan yung colleagues mo sa government ito yung mga dapat nating gawin because you have been there yes yes yun nakita na natin. And then, pag, pag linakinig sa akin, nagkamali siya, tag, mm-hmm. nasemplang siya, sinabi ko sa iyo. Eh. Kakantahan mo na yeah. I told you so. I told you I so. so. so anyway, so, which makes, uh, <coughs> which which leads us to a point where rapport is very important. Yes. I mean, even if you're a young professional full of idealism, uh, kahit nag-graduate ka with the highest Latin honor, yes. when you enter into a workforce, especially <laughs> government, this uh, building a rapport with your superior, your yung mga direct reports mo, <laughs> yung, yung yeah, or yung collateral people no, is you have to build the rapport. Mm. Hindi pwede yung papasok ka, tapos. Yes. Eto, this is this is how we should do things. Yes. Kasi ako yung tama. You, you also have to to build the rapport. But and anyway, the, um, yeah. yeah, for the perspective din ng mga batuhan, yung talagang fresh graduate, yes. very young as they are, and then they enter the government sector takot silang mawalan kasi ng trabaho at the same time. So, paano kaya yun? No? Sa inyo, sa experience at nyo, ikaw din. How survive? Sa sur- <laughs> yes, how did you survive that from the very first the government sector na pinagtrabahoan mo? Natakot ka din ba? And then, how did you, you know, deal with it? Ayun, kapag pumasok ka ng baguhan sa gobyerno, yeah. tamang-tama establish mong rapport, kinakailangan talaga magkaroon ka talaga ng surveillance sa lahat. Huwag ka muna. Surveillance! Okay, tip number surveillance one, surveillance. Sa, kinakailangan mo talaga ng ganyan. Bakit hindi ka basa-basa entrada mm-hmm. or lalaban na hindi ka handa? Ay, oo. Okay, <laughs> isa din yun. Pakiramdaman mo ang boss mo, ang lahat ng mga tao, ang colleagues mo. Mm-hmm. Para yung Game of Thrones, kung nanonood ka <laughs> <laughs> ng Game of Thrones. So may ano Strategy, may no? Ano. <laughs> kasi anytime, anywhere, may pugutan ng uro ng i-catry. So ganyan, kasi that's how you survive in government. Not in the wrong way, but in the practical way that you can re- professionally provide yourself a career pathway in government. Kasi uh, hindi mawawala ang drama, hindi mawawala ang ano uh, mga selfishness sa mga ano ng mga government employees. Pero la, ang government office is like private and NGO. Yeah, like in any other office. Like in any other offices, may kanya-kanyang drama. It's may kanya-kanyang team. It's just like being Oh my God. Kaya saan ka talaga pumunta? So, you need to really establish yourself. Pero you need first to listen mm-hmm. listen very well sa mga men- sa mga supervisors mo find a mentor yeah, it's important to have someone find a mentor someone to yung magme-mentor sa iyo na ano ah natuturuan yung ka positive ng, mentor hindi ah. yung ituturo niya sa iyo kung <laughs> ano yung black and white <laughs> yeah. and then lastly find a, a great or positive uh, peers no, hindi yung yung peers na puro kayo chika minute Ay, or puro okay, <laughs> puro, puro marites uh-huh. no, hindi ganun yung talagang constructive yung engagement ninyo uh-huh. na matutulungan ka paano how to do things matutulungan ka paano gawin to paano gawin yan and then at the same time magkakaroon kayo ng deliberate uh, conversation about life ganito ganyan balance Gandu, ganun na ako hindi puro happy hindi puro ganun, happy. ganun ako nakasurvive hindi uh-huh. puro trabaho kundi Nagkaka- nagkakaroon kayo ng ano so, ng balancing oh, it out as well no para yeah. sa plus work 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 no? yeah. work life balance yeah. yan so nabanggit well, ako yeah. tatlo na tayo nabanggit mo kanina no you worked in different government agencies oh. <laughs> Ayoko na ayoko na ayoko na mang ano ayoko na mang i-compare mo yung oh. iba no? which is the best workplace din naman but 
siguro for advice no for mm. for the graduating ng mga uh, students, students or professionals yeah, yes. or professionals na who are thinking of entering government no um which um, of the five no, can you recommend na <laughs> Ideal for someone who would like to start. Kasi ang pro, um, usually kasi sa government, correct me if I'm mm. um, mistaken, pero usually yung unang salta mo sa gobyerno makes or breaks you or defines what's gonna happen mm-hmm. to you in your if you if you if you want to become a public uh wor- if a civil servant, diba? Kasi pag mali ka ng unang napasukan at iba yung naturo sa iyo, diba? I- mm-hmm. I- eventually mali yung magiging direction. So, yeah. of the five, which, or any other agency, no, alin sa tingin mo yung magandang starting ground for, Ay, for someone? Mag, mag, mag-name drop talaga ako. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> ito, sabihin ko sa inyo sa mga bagong grad o fresh grad na papasok sa government, if you're, if you're looking for a government uh, agency, ang una-una mong titignan kung ano yung internal systems nila. Ah, okay, kung ISO certified, maganda yung standing, or Uh, maganda yung performance sa COA, sa ISO, pasukin mo yun kasi maganda ang HR nila, maganda ang internal systems nila, maganda, maganda lahat. Maganda admin, oh, may, sahod nyo, hindi delayed. Maganda, hindi delayed. Kahit na contract of service ka, job order ka, hindi delayed. Kasi okay yung HR nila, titingnan nyo yun. Another thing, tingnan nyo din kung yung turnover ng hiring. Kung yung agency na yan, lagi nagpo-post ng hiring, hindi maganda yun. Ay, parang <laughs> ano, to, oh. <laughs> parang ano, <laughs> <laughs> parang narampaw ko <laughs> yun. Kasi may, may something. Yes. Bakit, ma, ba't parang kakapost parang, lang nitong isang posisyon na to, may posting ulit. Yeah. I-check ninyo. <laughs> o, back, check ninyo back yung background, yeah. yung history nila yeah. sa turnover ng hiring. Kasi yan yung sa mga ano, ako talaga, mm-hmm. nakukuha ka talaga kasi ako hindi ko ina Ko, ina-applyan ko pero may nagsasabi na sa akin na executive official mm-hmm. na uh, kasi ka, karamihan ang ina-applyan ko ang, ang ina-applyan ko kasi lagi hindi hindi regular position kundi executive uh, post uh, ano na ah, position okay. so, sabihin, executive uh-huh. assistant ka or kaya uh, consultant sure consultant ka ng ano consultant ka ng Uh, executive official, ganun yung kasi na apply ko. Pero usually, nung nag-apply ako na na, na contract of services ang agency, ganun ko siya tinignan dati. No? Eh, yung na ko, maganda dati yung ano, maganda yung maganda yung internal systems. Tapos yung naging consultant pa ako sa isang agency na to, ah, sobrang ganda. Kasi nga, kahit contract of service ako, di, tinuturing akong consultant at the same time, kasabayan ko yung regular, may uh-huh. benefits ako, may leave ako, gano'n. Tingnan nyo yun. So, do yung mga so, kailangan i-consider yeah, yes. when, when entering. Kasi I think, um, at this point, oh, kasi nababanggit-banggit, yeah. uh, sa gobyerno kasi, hindi siya, hindi isa ang classification ng uh-huh. isang government worker. No? Yes. Um, Siyempre, ang pinaka-ultimate dyan is yung mga, we call them the plantilla. Uh-huh. May plantilla items. Our Ito yung mga regular. Permanent. Yun na permanent, yun. yes. Uh-huh. Ayaw ko kasing sabihin na permanent kasi kasi na correct na rin ako before. I mean there well there's no such thing as permanent in government kasi nga it, it gives daw the misconception na pag pag nakuha mo yung item kahit anong gawin mo hindi ka maalis hindi diba? Ay, hindi You naman. have to be accountable. Uh-uh. I mean di ba? So regular positions because ito yung may mga full benefits. Yes. They they get all the perks, they have a leave kumbaga. No? Yes. And then we also have the casual employees, yes. right? Now they also get the same privilege and leave only that very limited din yung, yung tenure. And we also have what we call yung mga contract of service or job yes. order. Yeah. Ito yung mga walang leave, walang kahit holiday mag-work mag- pa yeah. No work, no pay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, na gobyerno ang number one violator ng ento. <laughs> yes. Yeah, kasi may ganung sistema sa gobyerno. And karamihan ng mga nagsisimula sa gobyerno, nagsisimula talaga ang job order. Do, that you have to work your way out. In fact, ako ay never pang na permanent. In my how many years in government, it has always been job. How many years? Sa my number of years. So, so, so yun yung ano, yun yung kailangan maintindihan. Mm-hmm. Hindi porket gobyerno. Kasi di ba pag, minsan pag sa mga non-government, pag tinatanong at nalalaman nila sa gobyerno, automatic, lalo pag December, hanapan uh, ka ng bonus. Bonus talaga. Yeah, hindi lahat. Hindi lahat. May iba't ibang classification of all domain joint memorandum circular, mm. di ba? Ang COA, DBM, at CSC na dapat by 
two years ago pa dapat mm. wala nang jump order wala sa gobyerno unfortunately hindi pa rin kaya hindi oh, kaya talaga yeah, unfortunately oh. hello government <laughs> <laughs> hindi pa rin siya hindi pa kaya hindi pa hindi pa siya kaya so yan yeah, um ayan. moving further siguro one of the things no that naisip ko rin kanina you've been in pol- your, your your line of work is policy policy sa akin kasi in my previous engagement program implementation oh. at tayo yung magkaaway no? <laughs> talaga oh, oh. kasi ay ah, okay policy, policy and then, and then orders, program yes. implementation yes. kasi kami so syempre ang laging ano diyan is you in policy hindi niya naiintindihan yung ano hindi niya naiintindihan yung <laughs> sitwasyon <laughs> ng mga nasa yung, mga nasa, nasa laylayan <laughs> pero i believe naman no na kasi Alibaba, ang DepEd kasi very controversial agency. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's face it, di ba? Uh, ang, ang lawak kasi ng ang sakop. lawak kasi ng sakop. And then, maraming education policies na lumalabas na parang it raises eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, I I think I've read it sometime na ibabalik ulit yung calendar year to the to the old to one, di ba? Yes. To the so, old I'm, one. So, actually, ibalik na, no? So, May 31 is the last. Abangan na lang natin yung ano. So, yung ilalabas sa debit order. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so, as someone who works, no, how do you reconcile? How do you reconcile? Uh, how do you ensure? How do you come up with these sorts of policies? Taking into consideration, syempre, yung what's happening on the ground. And that has always been a challenge for, for policy makers. Yes. Actually, yan yung spectrum natin ng development. Hindi lang lagi, hindi nga lang lagi na kinakailangan magko-complement ka lang lagi sa implementation ng projects or program. Kinakailangan mo ng guiding policy. But not necessary na yung mga ini-issue policy is tama. Kinakailangan based on do, anong implementation ng program, may evaluation ng policy. Mm-hmm. Yun dapat yung consistent na nangyayari, na dapat ina-update ang policy. Ideally. Ideally. Yes. Pero somehow in reality, ang dahil sa there are many layers of prior kasi in government ang tagal mag-evaluate ng policies. Face it, ganyan talaga siya sa government. Kasi based doon sa program implementation, hindi lang kinakailangan i-consider mo ang CAR. Mm-hmm. I-consider mo Region 1, 2, 3 hanggang Mindanao. So, based sa regional uh, 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 consolidation ng policies, doon ka magkakamit ng national policies. Diba? So, ganun siya ganun siya karaygurus inaayos bago ka mag-update ng isang policy lalo-lalo na sa DepEd kasi ang tino-considered mo diyan lahat ng sakop ng schools no kaya ang nangyayari diyan magbe-base din ang implementation ng ano ng ibang policies based na rin magkakaroon na rin ng interpretation yung regional ng DepEd yung school division ng DepEd ganun kaya Karam, kar- kadalasan may ganun talaga between policies and ano and then and and talaga no, oh, oh. but that's a good thing kasi it it provides us a development perspective na hindi tayo matutulog <laughs> <laughs> hindi tayo literal <laughs> hindi tayo titigil <laughs> na dit na ayos yes. yung gap naman sa policy oh, yon so yan yung ano yan then and yan yung trabaho mo dito oh, yun yung, oh. so kaya mo na yan. <laughs> we, give, we give it we give it to you yeah. <laughs> so, so no, can I experts dyan diba at ito gusto kong ano as we near our yeah uh, right. as we as we conclude <laughs> no? I, I think ano gusto ko tong ipauso sa segment natin um, yes. kasi you will be the first of you know professionals who will be inviting mm-hmm. talking over mm-hmm. um Gusto na gusto naming magpauso ng no, wish list. So, this is the usual no, wish list. Kasi ah, okay. 'di ba? Um tayo naman may mga bagay na we cannot change. But we hope to, to see a brighter day, a brighter future para mag-improve yung kung where we are right now like you in DepEd, uh, in government. I'm sure meron ka ding mga gustong baguhin, gustong Mara, gusto may milestone ka rin gustong ma-reach ni DepEd to make it a isang working environment not only for you but you know, for the young professionals who will be coming over so gusto lang namin tanungin what you know wish lists as many as you might want to share wish lists mo number one well sa current job mo job mo no? and well wish list for well need, uh, I'm sure you're Patriotism is on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, wish list mo for 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 the bureaucracy. I'm sure you have uh, one or two. So, a uh, wish list ko. Uh, first, uh, mag start tayo mo na sa bureaucracy sige. I I wish for a responsive bureaucracy na 
willing and marunong makinig okay. sa different feedbacks ng mga tao. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko naman siya sabi na hindi nakikinig. Yes, 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 pero yes, yes. there are feedbacks mechanism. Kaso nga laki na kaya maging wider open pa siya. Ang wish list ko naman sa mga citizen natin o sa mga kabataan natin, please, please, hindi lang lagi karapatan. Kinakailangan may kakibat na responsibilidad. So, there are feedbacks mechanism. Alamin nyo. <laughs> Meron yan. So, alamin nyo kung anong platform and then doon kayo mag-feedback. Nang tamang pag-feedback. And then, always be factual. Your sources not based on Facebook or TikTok. <laughs> based on facts, no? Pag fact check tayo ng mabuti mabuti kasi kung nagka fact check tayo at hindi tayo magiging uh, ma- maano sa ating uh, sa ating anger management. <laughs> na, ah, may nakitang headline. Agad agad reaction ka agad. Ah, ka agad. Ma- be, re- be, be. Kalma ka, be. Ha? Kalma ka, be. Tignan mo muna ang source. Tignan mo muna yung mga konteksto. Kasi baka mamay na mislead ka. So, tignan natin ng mabuti. Saka, ka mag-react and then hanapin mo ang tamang platform. And then, kung wala ka talaga makita ang tamang platform, oh, be factual. Cite some sources. Ganon. So, ganon yung mga uh, rights and responsibility. And for everyone, yun, maging factual tayo. Yun, yun, yun yung dalawang wishlist ko sana. And for our, thirdly, sa ating mga young professional in government, uh, patience is the virtue. But yet, wag kayong mawawala ng pag-asa. If you really, you have a passion in government, yes, the business of public administrator is government. But yet, please, be, uh, be, uh, think really about innovation. Para ang la ang turo sa akin ng isang professor ko, ng mentor ko, uh, si Dr. Alex Brillantes. Hello po <laughs> sa UP. <laughs> uh, maging ano ka, uh, think globally and act locally. So, please go compare, mag-compare ka ng different practices outside of the country. You manage it and then also implement din nyo yung innovation sa offices or structure na meron ka. And be consistent. Hindi yung may masabi ka lang. But you innovate all of the people, you innovate the system, etc. etc. Para sa ganon, unti-unti na babago mo yung systems. Ganon. And look for a mentor who will guide you. Yun talaga pinaka-importante na yun sa mga young professional natin. Kasi yun talaga mag-guide sa inyo. Ano naman ang wish, wish list mo sa sarili mo, di ba? Uh, wish list ko sa sarili ko. <laughs> uh, mas maging madami ang vacation. Dari ako ko ba ako, boss? <laughs> Shout out! Ah, boss, second kasan ka man. Ah, Ay, hindi naman. Siyempre, um, more, ano, more engage. Uh, sana, ano, to my, to my, ano, to my older, ano? Older self. So, my future self. Ayan. 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 Sana maging ano ka, mas successful ka <laughs> sa ginagawa mong passion sa buhay. At sana mas maging masaya ka pa. Ganon. Yun ang wish list ko na sa future Ayan. self ko. Thank you. <laughs> Partner, ano wish list mo? Oh, As oh. of the moment. <laughs> well, except world peace. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko, mag-break muna tayo. <laughs> Tinuloy-tuloy oh, ka. Tinuloy, Excited tuloy. ka kami oh, masyari. Oh, oh, oh. Pero sa akin naman, wish list ko lang, ngayon na ah, makatapos na ako ng master's. <laughs> yun, na yun na lang kasi stress na sa akin yung boss ko. <laughs> sabi na, matapos ka <laughs> na. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so partner. Yeah. Yeah. Ang wish list ko, well, sabi ko nga world peace. Kaya <laughs> Ikaw ha? <laughs> Play safe ha? Well, of, well, of course, ang wish list ko naman is ano, mas marami pa yung, as of now ha, I mean, mm-hmm. since in line with our conversation today yes. is, I hope maraming mga young professional ang mag-aspire to yes. work in government. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, hindi siya, hindi man siya ideal, mm-hmm. kumbaga, kasi karamihan ng mga nag-graduate, gusto talaga nila, they wanna change the world. Oh, uh, and naman, and, God, and God. ang gobyerno talaga is not the ideal place to go if you want to change the world. Mm-hmm. But, I hope that, you know, you get 
to you know you you come into terms with yourself yes. and with what you want to do and change in the world and i hope you s- makita mo yung kuwang mm-hmm. ng gobyerno sa buhay mo and yung kuwang ng public service dun sa buhay mo eventually no uh, if we work together kanta na ata ito <laughs> but, but if we you know if we put our idealism no? yes uh, cumulatively mm-hmm. together who knows no we might be able to fast track yung pagbabago na gusto nating makita sa gobyerno and syempre naman government is run by people and systems diba but who runs the system and who runs the government sa people so at its core is yung mga tao din na nilalagay nilulukluk sa gobyerno yes. so for me not to become political further <laughs> i guess this is me saying <laughs> Wait, i-practice natin yung right to suffrage. Uh, yeah. Wag lang tayo laging kumal, uh, wag lang tayo laging mag-react. Bumoto tayo. Ha? <laughs> <laughs> May, uh, yeah. Uy, pero ano lang, maihuli ko lang na tanong yes. kasi anong take din yun? kasi syempre sa lahat 'to. No? Go lang ng work ng work and work or go uh, kapag may opportunity push na agad para sa experience, para sa experience. Yes, yes. Ay, para sa experience. What's your take on this one? Ikaw muna or siya? <laughs> <laughs> DP muna. Ah, si, oh, oh, kasi yeah. siyang ma-senior sa akin. Oo, oh, 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 Okay, think about twice kung, <laughs> kung gaya ng decision mo kasi uh, your first job is a impression of your uh, it's an impression to yourself kung ano talaga kung anong career path mo in the future kasi kung ano yung mindset na ginagawa mo on your first job magiging magiging kultura mo na yung sarili mo eh ako kasi inumpisahan ko yung sarili ko with with the connotation na I love this job because align siya sa gusto, mo. gusto ko, align siya sa gusto ko maging. Oh, oh, ganun. Ay, wala. Gumagot ako ng nursing, hindi ako public administrator of medical science. Pero dahil alam ko na pag-graduate ko, ay, parang ito align to sa, sa so, gusto ko maging. Uh, uh, Kahit na hindi siya match sa grad, grad, graduate ko, uh, uh, nag-continue nag- siya. Kung nakikita mo yung future mo doon, yun doon talaga. Ka, ganun talaga. So oh. good for you, yung career pathing mo. Oh. Ano siya, linear, sunod isang line. I mean, oh, yes. it, it follows the same track. Mm-hmm. So nahiya naman yung akin na. Ay, ganun. Ibinuhay ang Kenon Road. So siguro ano, um, yeah. Uh, in, I mean, we learn by experience. Yes. At yung learning ko dun sa akin, sa akin is that yes. importante yung career pathing. Yung, yung, uh, maririnig nyo yan. Maririnig at maririnig yan sa mga HR specialists or professionals. Career pathing is important. Meaning, kung ano yung trabaho mo ngayon, yun nga, dapat naka-align sa kung anong gusto mong maging, I- kasi lahat tayo may ideal yes. work, di ba? Ideal profession, ideal job. How do you get to that ideal job? So, kailangan naka-align siya. Yung rutang tatahakin mo ay papunta doon. Hindi yung tama, yung sinabi mong, ay, kukunin ko na to for the experience. Pero yun kasi, what experience are you building up ba? Diba? Kasi kung wala ka namang experience na that you're trying to build up, at kukunin mo na lang to for, for the sake na magkameron, I don't think you will reach your ideal profession in in a certain span of time. Or marireach mo man yun, but mas matagal mm-hmm. yes. kaysa mag-career path. And ano, that goes without saying, it's okay to wait. Mm-hmm. Yung that goes without saying na kung matitenga ka ng two years, kasi may inaantay ka, mm-hmm. alam mong that's for you, I think the, the wait is is worth it. Yes. Ewan ko, we live in a generation where, you know, cutthroat kasi, di ba? Oh, Kailangan, hindi, hindi pwede yung... Na, hindi ka pwede mabakat. Yes, eh, tapos parang, parang kasalanan na wala kang ginagawang iba. Oh, 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 oh. Yung parang dapat meron kang sideline, meron kang ano. So, let's normalize yung magantay. Yeah, yeah magantay. Yes. Oh. Willing to wait. Tsaka, ano din, very important talaga no, sa, sa nasabi natin kanina. Natin. Hindi, <laughs> 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 pero nasabi ninyo kanina na very important talaga na alam mo sa sarili mo na kung anong gusto mo. So, aralin natin ang sarili natin. Ano nga ba talaga yung gusto natin? Even if you took education, pero hindi naman talaga yun. So, you really uh, have to be wise in choosing talaga ang mga 
pupuntahan ninyong mga trabaho, either in the government or in the private sectors, mga parts. Kasi sa akin talaga nun, ano ako, ano kasi ako, kung tara doon, oh, sige tara. Go. <laughs> tara doon, ay sige tara. Ay, ayoko na pala dito yung mga ganun. So anyway, parang hindi tayo maging butterfly in negative way. Yes, kasi it's okay naman to have um, a lot of experiences. Yes. So, hindi naman problema yun. But when it comes to career, Kasi nga, di ba, we spend more than 8 hours of our yeah. life in our chosen field of expertise. So, kung hindi ka masaya at hindi yun yung para sa'yo, di, you're wasting away your, your days, di ba? Your time doing things that you don't like. So, ayan. Um, any parting words or meron ba tayong mga, ayan, um, comments? Uh, Sabi ni ano, si... Ay, hello, Ma'am Luz Venter! <laughs> uh, yes, I don't know if... Hi, Hi Ma'am! Or, yes, hi, Ma'am Luz Venter. Nako, nagbabalik ang madam. Nag-send pa ng stars. I, I think, think it's so much. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, sabi na dito, that's real talk, my friend. Sabi niya sa nasabi mo kanina, earlier, actually, before before pa. Uh, sabi na, that's altruism. Sabi na, dreams, goals may fail, but there's always hope and there's always a reason to move on despite and in spite all the odds and frustrations. Oh, um, may nasabi ka kasi frustrations yes. kayo. Working under the government. <laughs> oh, Congratulations okay. ulit. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. And hi, Ma'am Kalinga. Hello po sa inyo. Ayan. Ano pa to? Ah, Oo, oh, kasi sa Pinas, kailangan lahat may experience halos. Ang hirap makakuha ng matinong work. Uh, yes. <laughs> may, yes may segue ko lang, di ba? Oh. When you get, di ba? Pag pupunta ka sa shoutout na lang sa mga government yes. offices na kukuha ka ng requirement, di ba? Is... Para magkaroon ka ng requirement, kailangan mo ng ID. Pero, kailang, pero kaya ka nga pumunta sa kanila para magka-document. Yes. Sa hanap ka ng document. <laughs> anyway, so, yan. Ano naman? Um, galaw-galaw. Yes. May arta na. Tao, well, uso-uso yung ano ngayon yung we are Filipinos, of course, we need to get ID. Oh to my get God, ID. Ah, yes! <laughs> sa TikTok, sa mga Reels, sa oh, Facebook, and Instagram. We are Filipinos, of course, we need yeah. an experience to get ID. Yeah, oh diba? Yeah. <laughs> Pero anyway, mga parts, alam nyo, mayroon kaming episode last, uh, last, last week together with a peso uh, uh, worker naman dito sa la- 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 munisipyo ng yes. Latinidad. And mga parts natin, mga studyante, habang nag-aaral pa lang kayo, you try to go to the peso office. Yeah. And Kasi maraming the, yes. job they have job opportunities here if in not abroad. job yes if not job training skills training kaya naman mga parts punta kayo at para malaman ninyo kung ano pa yung mga benefits na pwede ninyong makuha ayan so uh, thank you very much i think this yes. is our party shot so so thank you very much for staying with us we hope you are able to gain some insights from uh, Dan Paul uh, oh, once again uh, the chief policy officer of the Office of ASEC Dex, uh, Department of Education. And uh, well, from me, uh, thank you for your warm welcome. <laughs> diba? Yes. Sa ating mga subscriber, na hindi, ah, sa mga watchers natin na hindi pa nagsusubscribe. <laughs> you subscribe to our channel, we promise to give you more exciting topics, more exciting and engaging um, guests on our show. Ayan, mag-send din kayo ng stars, diba? To yes. keep us going. And also questions na rin. Yes, naman. Kung gusto kayo yung tanongin sa atin. Podcast. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, from me, thank you very much, and we hope to see you on Thursday. Yeah, same time, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. po yan, mga parts. And this is your Taraki 2.0. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Yay. Live audience. Palakpa.